Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Castle in the Darkness, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time for us to continue on through, I'm guessing this is the Sorcerer's Quarter still? Do I forget. Was this a place where I needed to take the heavy armor off? I think it was. Because I might be a bit too slow for this. Well, let's find out. Was well, this a bad idea? Oh, get out of here, you. You got a cheap shot on me. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, this is the spurt. Spurt. This is the spot where I could be a bit too slow and I'm also dead. <laughs> 93 times. Great. I checked the Steam achievements as well, and apparently there is another one if you die 100 times. I hope that will not happen in this episode. As much as I'd like to get achievements, I feel like getting an achievement for dying X amount of times is... It's pretty much a mark of shame. It's like those Xbox trophies that you get for, like, if you do something perverted, like... Trying to look up some anime girl's skirt. And you'll get a trophy for it. And it's there! They know you did it! That's attached to you for good. I think it's safer I just do this. I hate when that demon Krakow just walks up close to you. Even though it has no legs. But you know what I mean. Oop. Try your best not to die here. Well, horribly mistimed that, but that's okay. I hope those pincers don't one-shot Yeah, That'd be very annoying. Even though they are easy to dodge, still, it's the principle. And the superintendent. <laughs> okay, I think it was this part. The spot where I died before. Fine, take the hit. It doesn't matter. No, I, I, I made it at least to this part. Yeah, I think, I, I think it was the axe armor that got me killed. So why don't I just camp over here? where I can just get him with my magic. This is a much better idea than just getting hit. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, the axes actually protect him. you can't get me from here. Sadly, I can't really do much to him either. I'm hitting him, but not hurting him that much. Oh, okay. Please tell me there's a save point right here. No? Okay. I'm content with uh, continuing to go. Oh, oh! Game! What the hell? He's gonna come back, isn't he? If he does, I'm waiting for him. Oh, this is gonna be straight up cheap. Okay, I see what that switch is for. How do you dodge this guy safely? I don't think you can. I think I should try to kill him before I even think about solving the rest of this room. There we go. Problem solved. If I can go this way. I don't know if there's a save point over here. 
Okay, that was not a good idea. I'm scared. Oh no, now I gotta fight this guy again. With far less protection, of course. Can I just time this right? Ooh, just get away from him? Okay. What is it gonna be like at the other end of this? There's just no music. Um, I don't know which way to go. Oh, thank Christ! I needed that! I really needed that. Oh, there's a warp statue too! Okay! Sorcerer's Quarters, and then there's this place. Okay. I think I should go back to the Windy Ruins. Because I have a feeling that something is amiss. Like, for instance... Would I be able to make that jump? Oh my god! There's actually platforms over here, too. Oh. No. These are here. Can't believe you put those in the game. Okay, so I gotta understand what their pattern is. Oh. Oh, okay. So right by the window is where the third platform will materialize. God, there's wind here too. There'll be a real reason I'm doing all this. A damn good reason. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, I made it. What else is there to do? Well, I got this. Vortex Prism. Oh yeah, I was looking for that much earlier. Oh god. I still gotta clear the... Oh, no. Get out of there now. Oh, jeez, that was stressful. I think I'm gonna take this one, because I feel like it's closer to a save point. I don't know if there actually was one already. So, let me just play it safe. I can probably get a save point if I go this way. Not that way. I mean, like, the first area? There would have to be plenty. Right? Like right here. So I believe I had to look for this stone to get somewhere. If I recall. And it was, like, in the warp world. If you can call it that. So let's talk to the old guy. Oh, actually I think I have to go to the end. I don't know there was a save point over here the whole time. Um, let's put on the... The heavy armor again. Actually, I'm going to change my magic, too. I haven't used Summon Falcon in a while. It might redeem itself. Please do not crap on my head. I just put this on. Huh. Hello? We just found a new side area. 
All right, let's do this. Hmm, I think I need a key for this. Whoa! Good to know I found something that didn't instantly kill me. Okay, I see what I gotta do here. Whatever it is, the Falcon seems to be doing its job. Hmm. I think you gotta hit the center, and sometimes it's a little hard to get under this guy safely. But he's committed to going left to right. Hitbox seems a little tricky to actually touch. Once his body starts to open its eyes, actually I think that might be its head. When it opens its eyes, it's gonna release a bunch of magic shots. So be prepared for that. This doesn't even look like a very hard boss, actually. One you just require a little bit of patience for. Okay, he actually just fired those shots sooner. As long as he doesn't do that while he's swooping, that way I don't get caught right under him. This music seems pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. Then again, I can, I can pretty much say that about the entirety of this game. There we go, we, we killed it. Yo, we did it. That boss was a little easy. Oh, there is more to this tower. And we still can't open that. Okay, I think we should play it safe by saving. And then we can go back in and continue the second floor of the tower. Hmm. Let's try going this way. Oh! Well, I'm an idiot. There was a save point right there. But how would I have known, really? I think I'm gonna have to switch to this again. Oh, okay, well, I never plan on leaving anyway. Oh. This tank does not seem that hard. You just gotta watch out for the debris, that's all. And whenever it fires that, that cannon, it's gonna push you to the left. But you should be in no danger of being, well, knocked into the spikes. And it turns out just touching the cannon does not hurt you. I thought it was going to be one of those bosses that had, like, stationary hitboxes that can hurt you. It turns out the Falcon was not exactly a good summon magic to use here. Is it just me, or is this boss easier than the previous one? Throwing a bunch of easy bosses, probably to lead me to a false sense of security. I'm calling it right now. One of these days, when we get to the top of this tower, gonna be a super hard boss. Calling it. Alright, doing really well. I'm gonna take off the Falcon. Uh, let's put the Soul Blazer back on. I have 40 HP. That's pretty good. What is the highest HP you can get in this game? Like 50, maybe? 50 seems like a magic number. 
2,555 random coins. Not bad at all. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to clear this? Am I just gonna die as soon as I land on these spikes? I bet you I will. Hold on. It looks like some of the floor is... is... solid? Like, just look. Like, it hits the ground, but doesn't hit the spikes. You just gotta remember where it was. That can be the tricky part. So, take your sweet-ass time. It's better be a living hero than a dead one. Unless you're playing medieval. Oh, God. Welcome, brave one. I am the Dimensional Guardian, X. The fabric between dimensions has been torn by a dark energy. I am bound to this tower. But I can give you a powerful gift. First, I will need to test your resolve. Prepare yourself! I predicted that we'd have a boss battle. Okay, I see what I gotta do here. Okay, I did not see that attack coming. Just lure him to launch his sword right down. And then you gotta hit it the gem on his head. That part does not seem hard to do. You just gotta watch out for that little sparkle that comes out. Because it's gonna travel across the ground. Occasional white spaghettios will attack you as well, so... Be prepared to do a lot of evasive action. It makes an obnoxious noise, too. At least the hitbox of the sword is forgiving. And that his uh, right arm does not hurt you? Because some bosses will do that. That you'll be damaged by anything that's not even a threat. Okay, at this rate, I should be able to defeat this boss easily. I can honestly say, other than the music, the other thing that's well designed are the boss battles. I still hate that frog in the armor though, but that's pretty much the only miss. Everything else seems to be executed really well. Oh, that was a bad hit on my part. Not a fan. Ooh, almost got hit there too. I wish those SpaghettiOs would, well, move a little bit better. Oh my god, that thing- Oh no! Second phase! Well, at least I'm safe when I travel on the corners. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay, he does not hug the walls because of the horns. So, if I hug the wall when he's firing the lasers, he can't hit me. Ooh, that was a tricky jump. Of course, the SpaghettiOs can still get me. I can't take too many hits. I 
not able to hit him that much either. Oh, magic is not going to work. Unless I had to aim at the top of the head. Oh, no. Oh, no, why'd I jump? Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Let me try the heavy armor. Can I actually make it to him with the heavy armor? Or is the jumping just impossible? Oh, no, it looks kind of possible to me. Might as well get that money again so I don't forget. Uh oh. Wait. No, no, that, I can still make it. Good. Otherwise, I might have to consider leaving and come back when I get new armor. Okay, where's the next safe zone? It's hard to tell sometimes. can't see it. Uh, this is worrying me a great deal. Let's be patient. Oh, I see it now. It's like you have to watch every drop of rain. Okay, I'm determined. I feel like I have to beat this now. You know what? Keep the falcon armor. Doesn't matter. If magic does work, maybe the falcon has the better chance of uh, hitting that guy in the head than uh, otherwise. Man, you have to have a good amount of mental focus to know where the invisible floors are. And like, how do you remember it, really? What? Was I really off by a pixel? Come on, game. Give me the benefit of the doubt at least that time. I can't say the game is unfair, but that time it definitely was. Even you gotta admit, that's very unforgiving to give you a platforming section like this. Wait a minute. If I defeat the boss, and then I get this so-called power, do I have to make it back to the end of this? Cause that's gonna suck. Okay, I think I'm doing better now. You know, by default of me not being dead. Okay, I made it. Uh, do I have to listen to the dialogue again? Hold a jump on the skip, yeah. Oh, it actually did work. Well, at least I know this guy's attack entire repertoire of attack power. Not giving me much room to move though. Uh, rings. Where'd that falcon go, anyway? Like, why'd you go over there? Where's he going? Like, what are you doing? You don't, you don't want to watch me in action? You want to learn a thing or two. Despite the fact that, well, you, 
don't have a sword. I guess the beak is pretty much the sword. If we want to be technical about it. Actually, it might be more of a dagger because, you know, a beak would have to be pretty long for it to be a sword, I guess. I can make it to the second phase without taking a single hit, that'd be great. Also, when he threw that spark, the sound effect came first, and then the spark got thrown like half a second later. That was weird. Okay, so far so good. I know what to expect. Not that it makes it any better, because it's still gotta happen. How many bosses in this game actually have two phases? So it kinda surprised. What? That counted as a hit? Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna stay in that little uh, movement pattern the whole time. I'd be like, not gonna complain. Just realized it's harder to hit this guy than I expected. Oh wow, that that laser was still going. Oh, now you decide to show up. lot going for me right now in terms of like offensive punch. But I mean, at least I'm not dead yet. Okay, for some reason my attack did not register. Okay. Oh, that was a miss. That was also a miss. Have to go with a low and slow approach. I hate it, but I got no choice. It's either that or take hits. So I have to get like one shot at a time in. That's all I can do, really. Okay. Getting it together now. Can you imagine if I had to do this with the, uh... Wow. The wrong sword? Oh! Oh, the horn got me! Oh... That was brutal. I feel like I should still keep trying to do it. just save now so I don't have to get that again and I'm gonna switch spells again let's try energy splash I mean what else have I got to lose really other than my life again I feel like if magic actually does work Actually, if it did work, the Falcon would have tried to hit the boss. So I'm thinking it's just flat out useless. I'm just gonna say that much right now. Seems like I should barely not get that. There. Like this might be a little bit better if I didn't have to deal with these rings all the time. Like 
just always being there. It would be nice if it just started from the second phase if you killed the first phase. Like, just give me, a, like, a little bit of a bone here. It's like, throw me a bone or I'm gonna get bone. And that's happened pretty badly here. Oh, I thought he would have thrown that spark by now. This is gonna be the run where I beat him, okay? I'm calling it right now. It's my bold prediction here. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Do people still quote Shulk and Xenoblade from that? I don't think they do. I think they stopped. They're moving on to the next meme, I guess. I feel bad for memes. They get discarded pretty quickly. It's kind of like uh, selfish people getting a puppy, and as soon as it grows up, they don't want it anymore. That's what memes go through. Well, what was I supposed to do there? It materialized right where I jumped. Oh, magic does work! I guess I was just using the wrong magic. Oh god, he's changing his movement. Okay, now he's back to diagonals. You know what? Stay on diagonals. I'm okay with this. Whoa! Okay! I didn't think it could hit me while I was in the doorway. Now I know. And I feel angry for knowing. I should just stick to exclusively using magic. Because at least this magic attack is doing a nice bit of damage. And I'm also less likely to hurt myself. The only thing that's annoying, of course, is the charge time. But it comes with the territory, I guess. Also, I hate when those rings spawn right on you. Not, not a good time to get a text. I can't answer this yet. Oh, great. Now is not the time to die. I just won. Whoo, that was close. Please accept my strength. Farewell, brave one. Oh, I got an X sword. Hang on, I gotta respond to this. There's no one my lock that would happen right at this moment. Oh, he made the spikes go away. Oh, I got a really good sword now. I think this might be the best one in the game? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not get all my health? Oh, because I left the statue and it just stopped healing me. Weird. Oh, okay, so the sword is the only thing I can open this box. And it just gave me five extra health. That's pretty damn good. All right, 
What is the stats on this weapon? Hmm. I can't select it? Hang on. If I equip this... Oh, wait a minute! X-Sword is a spell! That's actually a really good spell! Huh! That's actually pretty awesome! Okay, so if I charge it... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. If I change to a different spell... Like the Falcon, for instance. I don't have that extra sword. Okay. So let, let's keep the extra sword. So, wow. We're sitting pretty. Literally. I wonder what this is. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the sorcerer's quarters. Think something big's about to happen if we go this way? With no music? Uh, gotta answer this. Like, I swear, this is almost like the worst possible... ...possible time! Like, during a boss battle where I need an intense concentration... ...and then that happens. Luckily, it didn't kill me. Why are you scrubbing the floor? I tried to fight the sorcerer alone! But he was too strong! I no longer believe that my father is alive! Please, avenge him! No promises, okay? Oh, you must be the sorcerer. Why do you look like the antagonist in Super Adventure Island 1? Okay, well, learning this guy's new attacks. He's got a lot of them. Oh god, the lightning. At least I can take out the ghosts. Okay, tanking him is not exactly a good idea. Sometimes, like, it's impossible to move around, you gotta admit. Especially when he just fires, like, anytime he wants. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here, and in the next episode, we'll, uh, try to take on the sorcerer again. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.